For troops on today's battlefield, recognizing improvised homemade bombs can save lives. Three, two, one, zero. At a Los Alamos National Laboratory bomb squad test range and in a classroom, troops learn the differences between harmless substances. This looks about like salt or common table sugar. And deadly explosives. Through thick observation windows, the students watched and learned. When you get in the theater, that's three things that are going to tell you a whole lot about what explosives have been used against you. Okay, the type of sound, whether it's a dull, muffled sound or a crisp crack, the color of the smoke, and definitely the smells. Ultimately, it's their lives that are at stake, so this is extremely important. By giving them the knowledge that they need, the situational awareness, it's going to allow them to recognize when they've in entered, say, a suspicious or unsafe area, know to back out, and it'll also give them the advantage to know um, when they've entered, say, a clandestine laboratory, uh, to realize that it's a clandestine laboratory so that they can <coughs> defeat that, defeat the homemade explosives that were being used there, um, and possibly uh, the homemade explosives that were going to be used against them. These bombs were all made with items readily available in Iraq or Afghanistan. For example, ammonium nitrate and fuel oil with a projectile aimed sideways. Zero. <laughs> High speed video, thousands of frames per second, shows the deadly effects. One of the things that we teach in this class is that a lot of the homemade explosives, they're white, white powders, white crystalline materials. What the bomb makers are doing is they're trying to camouflage these materials. Something that the students learn in this class is uh, precursors. What does it take to make these homemade explosives? So if they can point out different precursors, hopefully have a better understanding for what the final product is, um, the camouflaging. What I mean by that is they're trying to change the overall color, the texture, or the smells of these materials so that the soldiers can't determine what they are. In three, two, one, zero. Yet another devastating blast shows the effects of a so-called shaped charge, a cone of destruction. As part of the laboratory's Train the Trainers program, troops who take this course then return to their units to share the lessons. We learn a lot from these gentlemen and, and ladies each time, and we know that we're increasing their overall safety and hopefully saving lives. So for me, um, I must say that this is definitely a class that I really enjoy teaching. I get a lot out of teaching this class. Using world-class science to save lives on today's battlefields, Los Alamos National Laboratory.